Amazing exhibit. This is some great stuff. It's rock and roll history. It's from one of the most amazing decades in the history of everything, especially music. And Mark does not disappoint. He never does. He's really talented and captured so much of the time. The rock star of photography. I feel like I'm at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. What I see so far is pretty much amazing. Took a lot of great shots. He defined an error, and he's the man. Let me introduce you to the man of the hour, Mark Weiss. Uh, everyone that's here is very special to me. Everyone, you know, thanks for coming. Uh, yeah, I just can't believe, like, <laughs> all this stuff. I kept going to my garage and bringing other things in, my jackets, my records, picking the photos. So this is just like a one-of-a-kind, very unique, uh, like, gallery museum. I guess I, I made it to the museum world. That that's yeah. kind of, sounds kind of weird. And, and Neil, who was the first heavy metal band that I did a photo session with in 1980, who were featured in the band, in, in my, uh, in the museum. They're there right underneath Bruce Springsteen and, and Robin Zander and Brian Johnson and David Lee Roth. <clears throat> they were a band that uh, really took the storm, you know, took, took the Jersey Club in the tri-state area, in the East Coast. Uh, they did covers, they did Led Zeppelin, ACDC, anything was out there. They, they were the first band to probably wear spandex, or I shot them in 1978. <laughs> and this guy shows up, and he's a little kid with a camera and a plan. Tall and skinny, though. What, what? Well, he, you know, he seemed like it, because we were on the stage, and he was down there, and he's looking up, and he's, you know, getting his angles and whatnot. At the end of the set, he comes over and he says, uh, listen, I'm, I, I, I want to shoot the hit parade one day. I, I, I want to shoot rock and roll and you know can, if I shoot you guys will it be okay if I can you know get on the stage and I said look man you'll have access to anything you want as long as we can have usage rights to the pictures and we'll give you a photo credit if the pictures are worth using and he was like you got a deal and that was it and I'll tell you this guy was there all the time and we got some great pictures we used to use them in the aquarium all the time there were you know live shots that he was doing a couple of years in He's like, I want to do a studio shoot for you guys. Let's, you know, let's do it. And that's what's on the wall over there. And he, Suzette, Dee's wife, was right, making the right, clothes for right. us, you know, from Twisted Sister. And, uh, and she was at the shoot. It was in Morristown. And Mark cut his teeth on White Tiger. You really did. I mean, you were, you started shooting us then. Yeah. And boy, when, I, when, the, when we stopped doing it in 82, you were on a roll, man. You were shooting for everybody. Everybody. Well, White Tiger, when, when, if you were a, a teenager and you were a guy and you had hormones, you, you, go, you go to a White Tiger show and you end up with a girl. <laughs> Thank well, you. I have six children because of White Tiger. <laughs> I've been wanting to do this for 40 years. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm not going to say White Tiger, but can I say it? You can say it. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my pleasure to introduce to you and uh, we, we do have one more special guest. I'm not going to make a big thing out of this. I just want to introduce you to her because you might have seen her around, walking around. Her name's Angela. And... Uh, seen her in a while and uh, actually 34 years and the story behind this you know Bon Jovi did a did an album called Slippery When Wet it actually was called Wanted Dead or Alive first and they were all dressed like cowboys and badasses like they were in Billy Kid movies they all grew beers and came to my studio and uh, it didn't work out they didn't the record company didn't want Story short, after a couple photo shoots in Vancouver and there and there, uh, we came up with Slippery When Wet and the road sign. And I'm gonna, I just want Angela, come on over here, and just say hi. This is Angela, Slippery When Wet girl. How you doing? She looks fantastic. And uh, yeah, it's been great. And. That photo out of any album cover in the 80s, just it's probably the only one that gets talked about.
we're going to turn it into like a yearly thing where I bring another rock and roll photographer that maybe inspired me or, uh, you know, I just want to bring the rock and roll in to the kids so they can see it. And this museum is amazing. It's like, you know, no one really knows. It goes beyond these walls. It's like, you know, Donna took me for a walk, like maybe a few days ago, like, and I was like, there's more to this than just this. And there's all these things that they had open before the pandemic where they had school kids, uh, you know, coming by and learning things. And so this is gonna change really, um, uh, you know, for the future, you know, so the kids can learn and they can come to a safe place. I'm Ben Fleischner. I'm the chairman of the board for Monmouth Museum. And we're standing in the middle of the Mark Weiss exhibit, the 80s, the decade that rocked. And this exhibit rocks. It's really great. If you live through the 80s, either as a teenager or as I was an adult having kids, it, this captures it. And if you look around, you will have memories. Whether you like the music or not, you saw the people, you saw MTV, all these things were happening. And it's, this really brings it back in a very nice way.